Today's episode is all about the help desk. So I got five certifications that I think will help you land that help desk analyst role or that help desk support role. So stay tuned and don't forget to click like, subscribe and that notification bell. Welcome to Debt Free and IT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone who's looking to get into the IT industry, whether it's for a career change or you're just interested, I think you come to the right place. So the help desk is usually the start of many IT careers. So whether you're a network engineer now, a server engineer, a security engineer, no matter what position you have, nine times out of 10, you probably got your start at the help desk. So the help desk is where you come in and usually you learn how enterprise actually works. So this is your first position. You get in, you see how enterprise environment actually works on the IT side of things. Outside looking in, it looks like it's easy because all you're doing is talking on the phones for most cases. But if you ever worked at the help desk, you understand my frustrations and you understand where I'm coming from. So the help desk can break can bring you to your breaking point. Uh, that help desk role will have you in your car thinking twice about whether you should come in. Uh, I sh- it sure enough had me doing it. I would check my bank account and say, oh, I might be able to afford to leave this job. So that help desk does all of that. But in the end, looking back, I'm glad I started at the help desk. So today we're going to look at some certifications that may help you get in at the help desk, progress through your IT career and move on to bigger and better things. First certification on my list is none other than CompTIA's A+. So this certification is a good starting point because it covers a lot of fundamentals along the IT industry, such as networking, security and hardware. Uh, It's mainly geared towards individuals with no experience at all. So if you don't have no experience at all, this may be a good certification to go after. If you already have a little experience, then you may want to look after or go after another certification. But it's mainly geared towards individuals with no IT experience. And then on the other hand, let's say if you're trying to shoot for that desktop position, then this may be a certification. If you have an incentive to get, this may be one to go after. But it is also one that a lot of companies look for for a lot of help desk roles. So if you're trying to get in at the help desk, this may be a certification that you could look into. And it may be one that could help you land that help desk analyst position. So the next certification on my list is none other than the Network Plus. So this Network Plus is a CompTIA certification also. It gives you a basic understanding of networking, troubleshooting, uh, so a lot of these issues comes in handy for a help desk role. So if you're looking for a help desk role and you let's say you don't want to go after that A plus that I mentioned, then this network plus may be more suitable. And then also where this network plus, I think is probably a little bit more valuable than the A plus uh, is because let's say if you're trying to end up in a security role, let's say the Internet security side of things. So starting out with this network plus will be good because it could also help you land that role in the help desk. But then after you get your experience, you can start going after some security certifications to end up in that security role. Because most of the security stuff, if you're not trying to do network security, if you're just doing the Internet security side of things, a lot of those may not need a higher networking certification such as the CCNA. So this network plus, I think it gives it provides you value because it could help you land that help desk position. And then also it could be a stepping stone to another certification if you're trying to get in security and go the security route. So speaking of security, my third certification is come from CompTIA also, and it's the security plus. So CompTIA has the, these bit three certifications. And the reason that they make my list and the reason that they make a lot of other people's list is because that they're been, they've been around for a while. A lot of CompTIA, especially the Security Security Plus, is government backed, so it's very known. So if you're looking to get into a security role, a lot of times your beginning certification is going to be that Security Plus. But like I said, that having this Security Plus could also help you land a lower position, such as a help desk. So a lot of times, uh, in my experience, if you don't have no enterprise experience at all, even though you get a higher certifications, higher certifications such as a Security Plus or you know, a CCNA or what have you. A lot of times those roles, those certifications, even though they may be not be a beginner certification, uh, Security Plus is kind of, some people call it a beginner, some people call it intermediate. But with those certifications, it may justify 
you get in that help desk position to start out. And then once you learn that enterprise, being able to move up to the position that you've been trying to get to from the jump. So this is why it makes my list as one of the certifications to help you land that help desk role. If you're finding value in this episode and you're listening via YouTube or your favorite podcasting app, please leave me a review or a comment. If you have a friend who needs to hear this, please share this episode with them. So the fourth certification on my list, if you've been listening to any of my videos thus far, you know that I'm a big proponent for this certification. So that, th that fourth certification on my list is none other than the CCNA. So this CCNA, like I said, it's a more intermediate or advanced certification, mainly geared towards networking, but it's real valuable in other aspects of IT because what most people don't realize, networking is pretty much the backbone of your IT infrastructure. Without networking, traffic ain't being routed. You know, packets ain't getting from source to destination. So you always need that networking. So having a certification such as this will help you land that help desk role also. Uh, matter of fact, that's how I ended up getting in IT. I had a CCNA certification, but I didn't have no enterprise experience. So I started out in a help desk position and then I was able to work my way up to my desired role. Now I took the slow route. So hopefully if you make, if you go the same path I'm going, I went, hopefully you, you go a little bit faster than me. Uh, the goal is to go faster than me, be better than what I am. So this CCNA, like I said, is real valuable on my list just because it's a good starting point for any position that you want to get in. You know, once you know that networking, then everything else is just going to add on to it. So a certification like that CCNA, once you get it, if you don't have no IT experience or no enterprise experience, don't get down on yourself when you're not landing those engineer roles. Matter of fact, you probably shouldn't even be applying for engineer roles, but don't get down on yourself. You know, just some, Try to apply for some entry level networking roles such as admin or analyst. If those don't work out, go back to the help desk desktop. And like I said, it's real. It's a real good certification to help you get your foot in the door because most people they are willing to take a chance on if you have this certification, but you don't have the enterprise experience. They know that, OK, you're, you, you justify starting out at a lower role such as a help desk. And then usually when you're in that help desk, you're going to learn that enterprise experience, which is going to make you more valuable. Once you learn that enterprise experience, get your, get that enterprise experience under your belt, then you'll be able to pivot to that networking or that security role or whatever role you're trying to get into. So the CCNA, like I said, it makes a lot of people's lists. It makes mine all the time. Um, this is one cert that I think is real valuable. A lot of people may say that it's not needed anymore. And, you know, it just depends on what route you're trying to go. But for someone trying to get their foot in the door, I do believe that this certification will help you out a lot. So this fifth certification is one certification that I don't hear mentioned a lot, and it comes from CompTIA also. As you see, CompTIA is loaded with a lot of beginner level certifications. And also where CompTIA stands out is a lot of their certifications is going to be vendor neutral, meaning that with Cisco, you learn on Cisco products. With CompTIA, you don't learn on Cisco or no other. Whatever you learn from CompTIA, it's going to work on no matter what system you go to. So it's, it's, it's a vendor neutral certification. And this last certification is none other than the cloud essentials or the CompTIA cloud essentials. So with a lot of companies going over to the cloud, having some sort of knowledge of how the cloud works and how the cloud environment, how all that goes in together. I think this cloud plus will be a good certification to help you land that help desk position especially if you're at an enterprise and that their help desk position deals with a lot of cloud issues. So this could help you land in, get that foot in the door, start and get your start with the cloud. So you could get this cloud essential certification from CompTIA, then land that role at a, as a help with a help desk position at a, a company that mainly deals in the cloud. And then you, you, you learn about that cloud there and then whatever cloud that they're using, let's say they're using AWS. If they're using AWS, then you just start your path and start getting AWS certifications to move on up the ladder. So that's why that came in fifth on my list, because I think it's uh, the cloud now with a lot of companies is going over to the cloud, whether it's not it's hybrid or they got everything in the cloud. That cloud environment, I, I think, is here to stay. So if it's here to stay, why not get a certification that could help you land that role? You know, maybe that help this analyst role especially for a company that that deals in the cloud. So that's why I think that CompTIA 
cloud essentials is going to be real valuable because once you get that certification, that could help you get in to start 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 with your uh, experience within the cloud, and then you can start getting more vendor specific cloud certifications. So that brings me to the end of this episode. If you're on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, you can follow me at Debt Free and IT. If you got any questions or comments, you can email me at debtfreeNIT at gmail.com. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Peace.